In this lesson, I want to discuss the blood vessels of the aortic arch. So let me just run in here aortic arch, uh, the aorta. We have the aorta here, the aortic arch coming off where blood will be coming up this way and will be continuing down this way to the descending aorta. And the arch of the aorta will have three blood vessels that will supply the upper head. Now, they can be a little tricky because when we go to either supply blood supply to the arm or to the head, we have only three blood vessels to do this. Now, I'm going to give you guys some directional anatomy here. We have, we're on the right side here and the left side here. Now we begin our cells on the right. The right side is very peculiar for the aortic arch. It has the one blood vessel on the right, which I'm going to draw here, and this is the brachiocephalic trunk. Brachiocephalic trunk, if I color it in just a little bit, brachiocephalic trunk is the one on here uh, that supplies the right arm and the right head. Because brachiocephalic trunk, and we'll come back and revisit this at the end as clarification, but its name tells you quite a bit about what it does. Then the next one moving towards the left, in the middle here, we have the left common carotid artery. Now, you guys already know enough about anatomy to know that there are three... Uh, we know there are three blood vessels here, but you also know that if I have a left, I have a right. But where in the world is our left? Where is the left, where is the right common carotid artery? We may be asking ourselves that question right now, and I will not leave you disappointed in that in answering that. And then lastly, on the left side, you have the left subclavian artery. Now again, we always have a left, we have a left, we got a right, where is the right? And that's where I promised you guys that I would revisit our right, our brachiocephalic trunk on the right side. Brachiocephalic trunk, when we come to this guy, it will bifurcate. I'm going to use orange because when it comes off, it splits in two. One branch goes to the head as our left, as our right common carotid artery. The other one, which I'm going to use here in purple, goes into the shoulders underneath the clavicle as the right subclavian. Now that was that's a little confusing for first semester AMP students. But when you have your heart models, the three blood vessels that are on the aortic arch are first in red, the brachiocephalic trunk on the far right, moving to the left, and in the middle is the left common carotid artery, and moving farthest to the left in green, drawn here, is your subclavian artery, the left subclavian artery. Remember, break this about trunk and then bifurcates and becomes those two on the right side. So this does make it a slightly different, um, a slightly different thing. But this concludes my video on the blood vessels of the aortic arch, the arteries that we find there on the largest artery of the body, the aorta, as it goes to become descending aorta. And this concludes my video on the arteries of the